Parameter 11 to 14 are used to set the display of the S304 or S305 to show milligram per cubic meter. In order to do that, you need to correlate the reading of your standard reference method, which is usually a gravimetric sampling, to the reading of your um, automatic measurement system, which is in this case the S304 or S305. Typically, you are using here a linear regression line, which has the equation of y is a plus bx. And parameter a and b need to be set. Now, up front, just to be sure, um, whatever you set here, it will not change the range or anything on the milliamp output signal. We will keep it as it is, it just correlates the display to show milligram per cubic meter. Um, I have prepared here a little example where we get two points. One is 6 milligram per cubic meter uh, equals 9 milliamp. And point two is 19 milligram per cubic meter, showing 17 milliamp. Now, why is the result of the standard reference method in milligram per cubic meter? A is the intercept in milligram per cubic meter. B is the slope, milligram per cubic meter per milliamp. And X is the result of the automatic measurement system, meaning the S304 or S305. Coming back to our uh, example, uh, first of all, we calculate the slope by setting the two-point form of a straight line. In our case, this would be B is 1.625. And in a second step, we insert 1.625 to resolve the equation y is a plus bx to a is y minus bxi. So that would resolve in our case to minus 8.625. So basically it would show a straight line with a little intercept of minus 2.13 and these numbers A and B we need to key in now into our instrument. The value of the, for the intercept A and the slope B are split into an integer and a decimal part. That's why we need four parameters to key in both numbers. Uh, in our case, we would uh, use parameter 11, which is the integer of A. In our case, it will be minus 8. And parameter 12, that would be the decimal of the intercept A. In our case, 6. Five. Then we go to the slope and the slope is again divided into an integer and a decimal. In our case it would be parameter 13 is 1 and parameter 14 is again 625. On the end, we shall not forget to also set the command parameter 10 to value 2, enable milligram per cubic meter calibration, and set the display scale parameter 1 to be also 2, milligram per cubic meter. When all the three things are done, 
parameter 11 to 14 are set as described before parameter 10 is set to value 2 and also parameter 1 is set to value 2 your display will show milligram per cubic meter so let's do this whole thing in practice um, what we have here is um, we have set the display to show a milliamp shows an open loop so we have not connected any wire and we are measuring 5.8 milliamp now first we go to parameter 11 parameter 11 and that we set to minus 8 minus Eight. Minus 8, we save, now we go to parameter 12, that we set to 625, ah, now I'm over, doesn't matter, that happens. 625 to save we go to parameter 13 that is 1 save now we go to parameter 14 and once again, 625. Save. And back. So, now we have done parameter 11 to 14 but before it will show milligram per cubic meter we first need to set parameter 10 the command parameter 10 to be 2 enable milligram calibration 1 2 save out and then we set the display that's parameter one to be also value two we save and we go out if you have done everything correctly your display will change from ol meaning open loop a non-connected milliamp to show this symbol for milligram per cubic meter let's wait one more second we'll soon change from the numbers to milligram per cubic meter